The weather is brought to you in part by the Water and Sewage Authority. Water, use what you need. It's been a while, but some Saharan dust is set to come across the Eastern Caribbean. Obviously, it's not good news for those of you with asthma or pollen allergies, as well as for livestock as well. They can also be affected by the dust. But there's one positive in that the Amazon rainforest uses the minerals and the nutrients from this dust and it helps it to grow. Now, looking at the satellite picture, there's some dust in there. It does turn a bit hazy as you go through the next uh, few days. And it will begin uh, from uh, late tonight across Tobago, especially along the eastern areas through Ruxborough and Scarborough. Notice a tinge of the haze coming through. And then through Saturday morning, all of that haze will be pushing across into Scarborough, down towards uh, Plymouth and also into Ruxborough. We'll need a slight chance of an early morning shower, but all the while it will be that hazy sunshine that will dominate conditions across Tobago. Similarly for Trinidad, watch for the haze pushing into Toco, down towards Manzanilla and Mayaro as you go through your morning, stretching into Blanchichez and Diego Martin as well. We need a low chance of a shower, bearing in mind that the Saharan dust is very dry and that Saharan air will basically cut out most of the showers. So the likelihood of a shower is very low, especially for central and southern areas as well. So San Fernando will likely end rather hazy as you go through your Saturday afternoon. Now, temperature-wise, looking at 22 degrees Celsius tonight in Trinidad, 23 in Tobago, 30 likely in Canaan, 31 expected in Arima. Now, through Sunday, the Saharan dust will still be with us for both Tobago and the Trinidad. There's a likelihood of a bit more cloudiness maybe pushing in to Trinidad as we get towards a Monday, but overall, we we'll continue to see uh, very little in terms of uh, the rainfall, but the breeze will definitely play a factor all the way through Sunday and into Tuesday. Now offshore, that breeze will likely rip up the waves. We are expecting probably 2.5 meters out in the Atlantic, closer to two meters through the Caribbean with some sea spray around and sheet short east northeasterly swells of eight to nine seconds as you go through your Saturday and continuing into Sunday. Now the Eastern Caribbean remains a devoid of any significant rainfall, lots of a dry, stable air around. Up towards Hispaniola, there were a few thunder showers erupting. That area of low pressure has now pushed towards the north. We're only seeing the high level cloud here and eventually that too will basically clear. So we're looking at fair conditions through Saturday for the most part. Only a few brief showers for Hispaniola out towards Jamaica as well. Havana mostly sunny and there will also be lots of sunshine for Dominica coming down towards St. Lucia and Barbados. But once you get into the Windward Islands, you notice a lot of the Saharan dust, a lot of haze as well, possibly no higher than 30 degrees Celsius, even down towards Georgetown as you go through Saturday. So that's your weather and that's it from me. The weather was brought to you in part by the Water and Sewage Authority. Water, use what you need.